buildings. They're just blowing up concrete. Man, you can't get anywhere doing that. If that's the only thing they can do, they're going to lose. If they feel that that's the only thing they can do, because they're wasting their weapons on a bunch of concrete. They, uh, you, you know, that stuff's expensive. And they're just blowing up concrete with it. And pissing people off. Ukraine, um, not much change there. Uh, Russia's doing okay, I guess you could say. They're holding their own. Um, they're taking small areas, um, but Ukraine has got a little area along the river that they've got. It's a small area. But Ukraine is taking areas to... Um, Ukraine, with the Ukraine war, I think Russia's got a little bit of an advantage, but it's very little. perceive that they might have a bit of an advantage. Part of it is psychological because some of the aid that they thought they were going to get is going to go to Israel. Apparently we can't fight both. They're both one and the same, caused by the same entity though. Um, Israel is Zionism and the Zionism actually originated in Ukraine. That's where it originated. The people were told you got to join a religion, you can't follow Satanism, you got to join a new religion, something different. Pick, take your choice here. They chose Judaism, but they never really seriously joined it. They just hijacked it, used it for their own use, and uh, they created Zionism, which completely goes against what was taught by God. They're not supposed to create a state in Israel for the Jews. Um, they're just doing their own darkness so it's evil this is the interstate and they're both going to be exposed we have two years cryon recently said that in the next year to two this is going to all be exposed and we're going to know what it is it's going to kind of indicate it's going to be done Exposed and it's going to be dealt with. <coughs> the, so that means we don't have much time. He says a year to two years is going to be done. So we're going to have a long year. Um, here's where we go straight. See, now this one we already did from here to, um, from here to, this road here we did already, but I'm going to keep going straight on the, I'm going to turn the right way. I went the wrong way last time. So I already have this dash cam. Uh, I don't know, the, the message came out in the last month or two. It says in the next year or two, one to two years, things are going to be a lot different. But right now we're in that dark period. We're in that step back. And, it, well, it sounds like it's going to last a year or two longer. So we got a year or two of this uh, shit, basically. Um, so one of the years is going to be under Biden. So we got another year of Biden, and then a few months more of Biden, because he's a lame duck for a few more months until January. And then it's going to take a while for Trump to straighten all this shit out. If he get, I guess Trump's going to get back in. I was watching an astrological thing, and he predicted that Trump would get in. That he'd win. And he explained why, and it made sense. In a week in 2020, he showed it. He says he's going to be stronger next year. 
you'll win. You'll get in. So that's the prediction. And the predictions that Cryon gives is that North and South Korea will be unified, probably under Trump. Um, that there are people in Korea now, North Korea now, that are waiting for someone good to get back in. Hopefully Trump, maybe. And that they will... When he gets back in, they'll be able to start where they left off and unify Korea in a good way. And also the fall of the CCP will happen. And uh, it sounds like around the same time the Iran will go through a change. The government of Iran will be, the people will take it over. And then Iran will set up a negotiation between Israel and Palestine. That they'll set up something. That they'll set up a negotiation. That they'll um, do something good for them. So this is some good stuff that's going to happen. It's going to be a nice time to be alive. Um, so that... We got another year of shit, though. A little more than a year of probably bad... Because they're in control. They can do what they damn well please. I mean, Biden's a criminal. And so is Netanyahu. On both of them, there's people that would like to remove the both of them in their respective countries. They know that they're evil, but they can't get rid of them. Um, they're going to be exposed in the next two years. So sometime in the next two years, they're going to be exposed. I mean, for Biden, he's just going to lose the election, I think. And Trump will get in. For Netanyahu, I think he's going to lose the war because he's got too many people against him. His people are people are just going to say, "No, we don't back this stuff. We don't back genocide." There's a two-state solution here that can be done, um, and I suppose there's Hamas people that would like to take over the whole thing, um, but I you got to be realistic. You can't do that. Uh, there's too many Jewish people there, and then they would force them to, I don't know what they would do, they, they wouldn't have any rights then, and that's not fair either. So there's a two-state, you know, they're going to have to get a new government for Israel, though, I think, and then they're going to have to negotiate some kind of a, a new border, I guess? And then after they negotiate a new border, which is fair, that both sides agree on, then they can start to appreciate each other and live in peace. They can start to, the kids will grow up and they'll say, hey, let's go to the synagogue for their major celebration and see what they believe. Let's celebrate with them. And then the, then the Hebrew children will come over, you know, the older people probably aren't going to do this young people have an open mind and they'll do it in a way where they're not abandoning their religion. That they're appreciating the other people that are living with them and then they'll have peace. And Cryon says there'll be peace in the Middle East and once we get peace in the world, because there's other areas that are at war, once we get peace, then we will get these inventions. These energy inventions, the magnetic invention, the other ones, there's a magnetic one you can Sounds like you can install it in a house. Later on, you'll be able to put them in cars. It uses magnets. There's other inventions. Um, after we get peace, then we can. Then these inventions will come out, and there'll be a cure for cancer. I mean, they already have these inventions. They already have the cure for cancer. They're just sitting on them because they're making money with what they have all this other stuff so maybe after the two years then the inventions will come out will come out now that has to be developed that'll have to be developed um, they'll have to build factories and stuff for the i mean we need those inventions to get through the cold period that's coming that starts in 2032 so we got to have this stuff in place because the grid will collapse uh, it's not going to make the place uninhabitable or anything like that.